As the second week of school dawned, the classroom hummed with anticipation. Students chattered excitedly, their energy palpable as they settled down. Mr. Korn stood at the front of the room, ready to embark on another day of learning. Good morning, class, exclaimed Mr. Korn with a warm smile. Today we're going to explore the magical world of numbers in our schoolyard. We'll have fun adventure with numbers and we will learn from 1 to 10. Pomido and her classmates exchanged excited glances, their eyes gleaming with anticipation. The students followed Mr. Korn out to the schoolyard, where a colorful number board awaited them, displaying numbers 1 through 10 in bold, vibrant hues. Now, my young learners, Mr. Korn began, his voice brimming with enthusiasm. Let's start with the number 1. He reached into a nearby basket and pulled out a shiny toy car, holding it up for all to see. This, he declared, is one car. The students nodded in understanding as they observed the solitary car in Mr. Korn's hand. But what happens if we add another car? Mr. Korn asked. He reached into the basket once more, retrieving another toy car. Placing it next to the first car, he exclaimed, Now we have two cars! Pomaito and her classmates giggled with delight as they watched Mr. Korn demonstrate the concept of adding one more to make two. Mr. Korn continued with his engaging lesson, picking up another toy car and saying, Here's one more car. Now we have three cars. One, two, and three. With each addition, Mr. Korn encouraged his students to count along, reinforcing the concept of numbers and quantity in a fun and interactive way. As they reached higher numbers, the excitement among the students grew. Mr. Korn showed them how four cars could be grouped together, forming the number four. Add one to four, it becomes five. Now add one more, it becomes six. Six plus one makes seven. Add one to seven, it becomes eight. Now add one more, it becomes 9. Finally add one more to make it 10. See how much fun learning can be? Mr. Korn exclaimed. Now, who can tell me how many cars we have all together? Pomido eagerly raised her hand. 10 cars, she exclaimed proudly. Correct, Pomido, Mr. Korn cheered. You've all done wonderfully today. Remember, numbers are all around us, just waiting to be discovered and counted. Eager to reinforce the lesson, Mr. Korn unveiled a chart adorned with colorful images of various objects, each representing a different number. Now, my little explorers, Mr. Korn began, his voice gentle yet firm. Let's see how well you remember the numbers from 1 to 10. We'll start with 1, said Mr. Korn, pointing to number 1. Affy, would you like to help us identify an object that represents 1, said Mr. Korn. Affy bounced with enthusiasm and exclaimed, Yes, Mr. Korn! She proudly pointed at the apple and said, One apple! Great job, Affy, praised Mr. Korn. Who wants to help with number two? Peavy the pea eagerly raised his hand. With a big grin, he pointed to two green peas and shouted, Two! The classroom erupted with cheers as everyone clapped for Peavy's excellent counting. Pomido felt inspired and couldn't wait for her turn. One by one, each student took their turn counting the object, from Broca counting three broccoli florets to Bella counting four bananas. Pomido watched attentively, eagerly awaiting her chance. Finally, it was Pomido's turn for number five. She took a deep breath and pointed to five ripe tomatoes on the chart. Five, she exclaimed with pride, her voice ringing clear and confident. Once Pomido had proudly declared the count of five ripe tomatoes, the anticipation grew for the next numbers. As Mr. Korn pointed to the number six, Orson couldn't contain his excitement. With a bright grin, he pointed to six succulent oranges lined up neatly. Six, he exclaimed, his zestful voice filling the room. Carrie couldn't wait for his turn. As the count progressed, Carrie, with a delicate touch, indicated seven crisp carrots, standing tall and proud. Seven, he announced with a hint of pride in his voice. PV the Peas, a bundle of tiny green orbs bursting with energy, eagerly awaited his turn for number eight. With a swift motion, he pointed to eight plump peas nestled together in a pod. Eight, he exclaimed, his voice as lively as his demeanor. Bella the Banana, with her sunny yellow complexion and curved form, stepped forward for number nine. 
With a graceful gesture, she pointed to nine shiny cherries hanging from a branch, their vibrant color adding a burst of color to the scene. Nine, she declared with a radiant smile, her enthusiasm infectious. Finally, it was Palmito's turn again, this time to represent the number ten. With a sense of determination, Palmito approached the chart. With a flourish, she pointed to ten potatoes arranged in a perfect row. Ten, she proclaimed proudly, her voice resonating with confidence. Mr. Corn, beaming with delight, said, You all did an amazing job learning numbers today. His voice filled with pride and warmth. As the class ended, Pomido and her friends felt accomplished and excited to continue their learning journey together. With a final cheer, they bid farewell to another day of fun and learning, eagerly looking forward to the adventures that awaited them tomorrow.